Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel, everybody, and it's actually going fairly well with Palmer. We are five games into the new season. We've actually had a couple of wins under our belt. We had a 2-0 defeat last episode, which wasn't too hot, but we've done really well off screen, got a couple of wins, and we're looking pretty good. Hopefully we'll build on that today. We're against Cagliari, who I believe are bottom. They're not, they're 15th, but... Yeah, they haven't had the rest of starts. And we'll also be facing Sampdoria today, who scored 10 goals against us over last season's two games. So, hopefully a bit of revenge on them as well. Let's see what happens. It's a new episode of Palmer from the Ashes. And here is the intro, which you probably know by now. 60 episodes in. So after five games, it doesn't really make any difference now because there's so few games played, but we sit in eighth place. Uh, two wins, two draws, one defeat. We didn't lose at all uh, off screen either. We've got a neutral goal difference, made up for the two goals we conceded against uh, Palermo last episode with a, a win against Fiorentina. And an away win against Sassuolo. I don't think we won away for the whole of last season. Let me just check. We did. We beat Bologna 1-0. That was our only away win last season. But uh, yeah, so far this season, yeah, we've actually been doing really well. So uh, let's go through these games in a bit more detail. Of course, there's the 2-0 uh, defeat from the last episode. Didn't play at all well in that game. But we started off with a, a goalless draw against uh, Cittadella. Um, our passing was actually okay in this match. That Cittadella just had a bit more of the ball. But it was a pretty even game. Just neither side could find the net. We were pretty solid at the back. You know, we actually defended pretty well. But um, we just couldn't find a goal, which was a bit of a shame. And then I think the same could be said for Cittadella. They just could not find a goal and they defended really well. So a very even game. Um, we really have struggled to score against Cittadella in the past few games. I think their keeper's got four clean sheets against us. So, yeah. Uh, Cittadella are a bit of a tough nut to crack. We also drew against uh, Palermo. Sorry, Breski was the first game. I made a mistake there. And we scored our first goal of the season. It was after Palermo took the lead, though. Jan Petter got their goal in the first half. Uh, and then our goal came not long after the restart, actually. It was only about a minute and ten seconds, maybe? Yeah, about 90 se it was about 90 seconds after the uh, restart. Cherry scored uh, and made it one apiece. Uh, yeah, we didn't do too well in this match, though. You know, our passing was not on par at all. And... Uh, Palermo would just give the possession too much. Uh, Salsa has a substitution because, you know, he didn't play too well. And, um, yeah, Cherry was subbed after his goal because, apart from that, didn't really do too well either. But he did get a goal to, goal to his name off the mark for the season, so that's not too bad. But, um, yeah, we've got a draw here, so that's not too bad. A couple of point, points picked up, one away from home as well, so I will take an away point. Then we beat Fiorentina 1-0. Cherry with another goal here. His second is in as many games. And again, not long after the second half started. It was uh, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. And, and we were much better in this game. We had a lot more of the ball. We kept it pretty well. And we defended really well as well. Fiorentina had you know more shots than us. Giorgemi was uh, on on top form in the goal. And we defended really well. Sats had a great game. And Fornasio did really well. And the fullbacks did pretty good as well. Which is something you don't really get to say very often. Uh, one downside, though, is that Itinga, our new striker, has not really done anything so far. As you can see, two games, uh, two starts, averaged 6.45. Uh, so not really what I want to see from my new striker. He was a free. He was from Tampdoria. And actually, he didn't play <coughs> very much there either. So, uh, yeah, maybe he needs to just find his feet. And hopefully he'll start banking some goals in. He did get a few preseason, but he's yet to score for us competitively yet. So we'll wait and see if that's going to happen anytime soon. And then against the Swallow, this was incredible. We were 2 0 down, uh, and in the second half, we scored three goals, and we won away from home. So very, very pleased with this. Uh, Sassuolo had all the shots. Palmer, our possession, again, not great. Possession was, or pass completion was about 65%. Yeah, not didn't really go too well. Gil Marrero, Marrero, Gil Romero, and Mckissian scored Cesarello's goals. Uh, went into halftime two 0 down, and I said, "Show me something else in the second half," and they did. Uh, Adjapong, uh, well, Selva got a goal back on 48th minute, uh, back from a two-week injury in international duty. Again, he was injured for San Marino. 
Uh, he got the first goal. Uh, Trevino, the left back, getting a goal as well. So nice to see a defender getting a goal there. And then Galliano came off the bench and got the winner in the 80th minute. Made some changes. Adjapong at right back had a bad game. So we brought him off and we brought on uh, Lati Sanchez. And uh, yeah, Cherry was also subbed. And uh, Galliano came on and he only took about eight or nine minutes to get a goal. So very happy with that. Uh, three shots on target and they were all goals. And we won 3-2. So I'm very happy with that. And the way you win, I will take it. And if we can show character like that, and if we can perform like that, then I think we'll be fine this season. It's just we need to try and do that more often. Show a bit of character now and again. Now, before we get into today's two games, there are a, a couple more signings to go through. I think the only two guys I haven't shown you are Botsin and Silva. So Botsin was another signing from our director of football, central midfielder. Uh, he's on the rise, actually. No, sorry, I did. did I sign this guy? I don't even remember. Did I or did I not? Do you know what? I, I genuinely can't remember if this, if this was me or not. I don't know. But he looks very good. He's on the rise. He's, he's got some great potential. Uh, £200,000 from um, from Verona. I don't remember if this, was, if this was me or not. I genuinely don't. I don't remember doing this. But never mind. Here he is. He's 16. He's a central midfielder. And he looks very solid. Uh, and the other signing uh, was confirmed. Juan Fernando Silva from, uh, from Celaya in Mexico. Played a couple of games and he's actually done really well as a winger. He looks really, really good. 18 crossings, very nice. That really stood out. Uh, good acceleration, you know, so he's got a fair bit of pace. He's got a great flair as well. He's got a bit of potential. He's only 19 and he's a three and a half star player. So I'm excited by Silva. And as I said, he's got a couple of, he's had a couple of games and he's got two assists in as many games. So very happy with that. Uh, and now let's jump into some football. The first game is at home against Cagliari. Hopefully we can build on those two wins on the trot. So at the moment, this is the team that we've been playing, and this is the team we're going to stick with. Silva and Galliano, the strike partnership. I have got Cherry on the bench for this one, just because he didn't score. Hasn't really, well, he's had a couple of goals, but Silva and Galliano both scored last time, so we're going to give them a run out. Uh, the midfield, Petkov, Emmers, Pinotaro, and Silva. I'm going to give Pinotaro a start. You know, he was a five-star potential player for quite a while, but that has now dropped to four and a half. So I feel like I need to do a bit of work with him and... Try and get the best out of him now, age 19. Like I did with Salsa. Salsa, once he got to this age, was starting, you know, 20, like almost 30 games. So I did start doing this with uh, Pinotaro, start playing him a bit more. So that's what I'm going to do here. Silva playing on the right, you know, he's had a great start. So we're going to leave him there. And the back four of Trevino, Salsa, Fonazia and Sanyas has actually been pretty solid as well. And um, in front of George Emi, who has been on top form so far, the last five games, he's averaged 7.46. So I'm very happy with uh, over this team at the moment. Uh, we're on control and flexible, seeing as we're at home. These are the instructions that I have set. So let's jump into the first of today's two games. I don't. I, the only person I recognise there is Muru, because he's a player that I have used in the past on the game. And Angelo Henriquez as well. And Romani was a guy that I tried to sign, but I was not uh, successful. That was when we were down in the Serie B, though. It was quite a while ago. Might have changed since then. All right, we are the favourites for this match. We're at home. Hopefully, we can uh, build on our good form at the moment because we have been playing really well. Let's see if we can do so. First highlight of the game here. It's a throw in for us. Trevino on the ball. His pet cough to Selva. Back to Trevino. The cross is in there. It's come out to Emma's though. Silva had a, well, a half chance. Mura cuts that out. Sanyas is on the ball now. What's he going to do? He finds Pinotaro. Here is Emmers. Nice ball to Petkov. That's a good ball. Now Petkov, can he outpace the guys? No, he's uh, dispossessed. That's uh, disappointing. But they're on the run here. Asaro going past everybody and he puts it wide. So far, had a lot of the ball. Passed it quite well. So, so far, okay, I think. Not really anything major to report. That was a half chance, I guess, for, uh, for Cagliari. One thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to up the tempo a bit more. And um, we have got to work the ball into the box on. That's fine. I'm just going to go for a bit of a higher tempo. And that's half time. Only the one highlight. And there wasn't really anything major in that either. Um, I'll stick with what I said uh, at the start of the game. So we'll leave that on. I'm going to change the uh, shape to something a bit more fluid. And... <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. Got a bit of, I have a bit of a tickly cough today. Uh, I'm going to change the uh, defense lo defensive line up to normal. No goal so far. Uh, into the second half. We're coming up to the hour. I feel like a change is needed. I think I need to change one of the strikers and change silver. Because they haven't really done anything so far. Right, I'm going to change one of the strikers. I'm going to take off 
Galliano. I'm going to change Selva to the advanced forward. Bring on Cherry. I'm going to move the wingers on. Um, just a bit more higher up. And if it doesn't work, then I will take off Silva. And then we have either Rossi or a Khalifi to bring off, bring on from the bench. So we've got options for definite. Got a throw in here though, a highlight here. Cherry's on the ball. Uh, it's his first action in the game really. Passes to a Trevino. Cherry again. His Pinataro. He's dispossessed. That's not good. Emmons wins it back though. Good recovery. But then Petkov loses it again. Gagliardini for them. Here is Patrick to Teresi and they've scored damn really hope that all our work off screen I'm not losing isn't going to be undone by a silly defeat to Cagliari who actually haven't done that badly themselves it's been a very even game we've just had a bit more of the ball than they have passing and stuff and shots is pretty much even they just had a few more on target than us or a couple more so we'll see the goal again now we gave the ball away Pinataro lost it um, initially and then um, I think it was Petkov who did as well George Amy did not move at all there. That's not good. Uh, Silva is going to come off. We're going to get Khalifi on there. And Pinataro is going to come off as well, I think. Yeah. Pinataro is going to come off as well. Uh, we'll get Manala on there. Uh, we need to push forward now. Go for the early crosses and go more direct and just push higher up. And we need to get a goal. And at the moment, it looks like Cagliari are after a second. George Amy makes the save, though. God, time has really run down now. Almost into injury time. <clears throat> Not really what I wanted to see today. I'm a bit disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Full time, we've lost 1-0. That's not good. Disappointed. That was not good enough. We should have won. Agreed. The curse strikes again. What I'm actually going to do, I haven't done one of these yet. I'm going to have a team meeting and I'm going to go for like a we've started okay sort of thing. I'm going to say we've been doing okay lately, but I know we can do a lot better. That's good. Happy with that. Okay, that's um, builded up their morale a bit. So, uh, that's good. Uh, and the next game is against Sampdoria. That's going to be fun. They beat us 6-1 uh, and I think it was 4-1 last time. So, this could be fun. In fact, what were the results? Let me see. Where are you, Sampdoria? Oh, 6-1 and 4-2. Excuse me. Yeah. A little bit better. But we still conceded 10 against them in two games. So, this might, be, uh, uh, this might not be very fun. We're away as well, and Sampdoria are up in second, so they're probably going for the league this year, going for the title. Alright, here we are at the next game. Changes. Uh, leave Salva. We'll bring Cherry back into the starting lineup. I'm going to bring Ajapong back in. And I'm going to bring Minala back in, but I'm going to have him as the Roma and not as the deep line playmaker. We'll leave Pinataro because, as I said, I need to play him a bit more. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and as for our style, I'm going to go defensive as we're away from home. Leave it on structured. Uh, that's all fine, I think. I'm not going to overlap, though. Sampdoria, do your worst. You, we can't really do much worse than we did against you last season. So give us everything you got. Okay, not a bad team talk. Here we go, underway. What I'm going to do is make it fluid because hopefully we'll, we'll still sort of create some chances with a fluid style. So far we've got all the ball, just the one shot so far, but so far possession is in our favour. As is the passing actually, 75% is nice. Luan in loads of space on that right now. He was a pain in the ass last time and Simeone can only hit the side netting with that chance, but it was a chance. Here is Simeone again. Now he's going to have a shot in there. He should not have had a shot from there. He had like three players around him. None of them closed him down. I want to see that goal again because that did look bad. And it's probably going to look even worse in 3D. So, like, the run he made... Like, I mean, no one closed him down there. Look at that. He had three people in front of him. None of them did anything and he had a shot. So, not only am I going to put close down more on, but I'm going to say get stuck in as well. I don't care about fouls and cards. That's fine. I've got a corner here now as well. Petkov heads it away. But uh, Carriel got on the end of it. Kubas to Beto de Silva. That's not good. But 2-0 down and it's... Not even half an hour played yet. And so, look, we've had all the ball and stuff, but we just haven't done anything with it. Sampdoria get the ball. They're up our end and they score every time. And Ajapong's on a 6-1. What is that all about? Try and control the game, actually, instead of attacking. Try and control the game. Where are we now on the table now? Let me have a look. Still in 12th. Eight points is okay, but... Yeah, two defeats was not really what I wanted from today. Especially with no goals scored either. But we'll wait and see... There's still 45 minutes left in this game. We haven't played that badly while well, Ajapong has. 
We're not doing well. Uh, unlo- I'm going to say unlucky. I'm having a chat with Ajapon because he was not good enough. Uh, right. Flexible. Go a bit wide. Just push a little bit higher up. And yeah, let's not be disciplined. Let's roam. Oh, God, Simeone's almost through again here. That was a poor pass, though. Petkov clears it up pitch. Cherry with a header on, but there's no one there. Here is Petkov again. Now, can he outpace the guy on the left? He has. Cherry's on the end of it. Now, get across in there, Cherry. Come on. We didn't, but it's back to Manala. Here is Pinataro, and he's giving it away again. Stop doing that, please. And Better de Silva's through, and through, and... Oh, he hit the post. Pinataro has given the ball away again there. That's the second game in a row that he's done something like that. The Ajapong and uh, Fornasi as well have been disappointed. I'm going to swap those round. Just, you know, separate them. You know, you've been bad boys, so I'm separating you. I'm going to change one of the strikers, though. Galliano seems to be a super sub, so let's get him on there. I'd have to go attack him. We're having more of the ball, so let's try and do stuff with him. Let's attack. ajapong has got a throw in here. Here is uh, Silva. What was that? There's no one there. Just the goalkeeper. Their goalkeeper as well, not ours. Deary me. Satsal wins the header there. That's good. Pinataro loses another challenge. Better to seal us through. And George Emmy, come on. You could have stopped that. Pinataro, you're not really... I, I, I've got a lot of faith in you and you're not repaying me here. That's twice that you've lost out. And twice that it's le- led to a goal for them. We're 3-0 down. You come, you're coming off. Pinataro's coming off. Uh, risk. No, yeah, risk. Bro, has got abysmal morale, so... I don't want to play him when he's in a shit mood. Well, last season, this game ended 6-1. We're 3-0 down. We'll play just over an hour, so... Damage limitation at this point, I think, but I would kind of like a goal this episode. We haven't scored in a live com yet. I don't know what that goal kick was. It went straight to Petkov. Now, he's bloody lost it again. Part of what? Possession's gone down to below 70. Now that's on the ball here. Petkov. Galliar. Oh, you're offside, you plonk. That's, yeah. I just uh, called him another name for a bottle of wine. Plank. That's what I meant to say. See, we've had the ball. We're just done. Well, fuck all with it, really, haven't we? Three shots on target. No real chances in this game. 18 minutes played. Now, there still could, could still be ch- uh, time here for, well, at least one goal. And there it is. Galliano gets on the end of that one. That one is onside. I know the other one probably was off. That's 3-1. So, well, there's 10 minutes left. We can't pull off a palace, surely. No way. Uh, Cherry's really tired. I need to take him off. Um, we've got Longo. Uh, yeah, well, Longo. No, Tinga isn't even on the bench. So, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what I think of him so far. We'll leave it... Ugh, we're running out of time. Overload. Why not? Roma are winning 5-0. At least we're not against Roma. Poor Carpi. Only a few seconds left. 3-1. Well, it could have been a lot worse. There could still be a fourth. Here is uh, DePaul. And Manala's made a fa- is that that was off the ball right he got a yellow card i think that wasn't off the ball instant so i didn't really catch what happened there. that's full time it's uh sampdoria three palmer one i will yeah i'll say unlucky but i need to have a bit of a slag off at um at ajapong uh and also pinataro uh not happy with you today um, but yeah, everything else, we weren't that bad. George Emmy probably could have stopped one goal, but yeah, well, we've had, we've had worse. So yeah, um, we're still in 12th place as well. We're not looking that bad, really. Two wins, two draws and three defeats for a team like sort of at our level in this league. As I, like I say, it could be all lost, but we could be carpy not winning a game yet and having a goal difference of minus 13. So yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, we've got an international break coming up. Hopefully no one gets injured during it. Uh, our next games will be... We'll see how we go. I, I've, I have got a day off tomorrow, so hopefully I can get these five games done. I'm going to aim to get Napoli and Kiovo ready for next time. Uh, if I don't think that's achievable, then I'll do Empoli and Carpi. Carpi should be nice, nice and winnable. They've had a dreadful start. But I'm going to aim for Napoli and Chievo, but if I don't get that, then I'll do Empoli and Carpi. I don't really want to have a two-week gap between fixtures. That's not really ideal. So uh, it'll be either those two games there or those two games there for uh, next episode. That's uh, Yeah, that's what I'm going to aim for.
and our balance has just slipped into the red as well. We're overspending a bit on wage, so I need to try and amend that. And uh, yeah, we're making a bit of a loss at the moment. Um, so yeah, well, yeah, we're we're in debt. So the new owners haven't really put much money into the club. Well, they probably have. I've just spent it all. I mean, I spent twelve million pounds on players. So <laughs> yeah, that explains that really. Um, yeah, okay. Um, not really a lot else to say, so I'm going to end the video now. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. That sounded really weird. Never mind. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Leave any comments you want to make. And if you want these videos, as I'm going to up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'm aiming for my uh, second go at 200 subs because YouTube deleted a load of inactive accounts. So, um, yeah, I'm aiming for 200 again now. I got it first. I could get it again. So there might be a second thank you video. There might be. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, next episode, uh, two more games. Uh, and then, well, how much I do after Screen, depends on which games they'll be so um it'll be a bit of a surprise i guess uh, well of those two teams it won't be a massive surprise it won't be all oh, right at the end of the season that that would be a surprise but yeah um so yeah i don't know what you're gonna get and i don't know what yeah you don't know what you're gonna get either fm is like a box of chocolates i don't know i don't know what i'm saying uh yeah let's end this video now but thank you for watching guys i will see you in the next one goodbye